So last time you got introduced to Rob and the crew. Now let's get to work. I'm a third generation, 20 year veteran plumber in Chicago. So plumbing's in my blood. I've lived all over the country, but now I make the city along with its century old sewer system, my home and livelihood. 15 of those years were spent working with some of the best and some of the worst in the field. Now I'm literally running my own show. I'm Rob West. And this is my city. This is where I like to hang out. These are my people. Hi, my name is Rhonda and I'm working with Rob West Extreme Plumbing to have a, a flooding problem resolved. Rhonda from Oak Park, uh, she, uh, she was referred from her, from, from her neighbors. We did, uh, we, did a, 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 uh, we did three other flood control systems on her block, so she got her number from her neighbor. And, um, and that's basically it. She's been uh, a great customer ever since we did a couple other jobs with her. Two years ago, my basement started flooding with sewer backup. And I had that same problem occur the following summer. This summer, I want to prevent that problem, and I'm having Rob West Extreme Plumbing come in to, to install an overhead plumbing system. Uh, Rana's job specifically, that job was, was putting in a, uh, a flood control ejector pit. Um, so, so, uh, so to prevent... Uh, her sewer from backing up, so we put an ejector pit in for all her basement drains to, uh, to, to drain into, and so then it gets pumped out into the stack. At every job site, the primary concern is protecting the home from soil and hazardous waste. The guys take care to cover appliances and furniture. Me, I prefer working with everyone, but I prefer to have someone to work with me that actually knows what I need before I ask for it. That day, uh, I, I I take some of the uh, I take some of the blame for that that uh, that ep episode um, because uh, I was late for work. I was supposed to get there. Uh, I was supposed to get there at 8 a.m. and get them started, and I got there at about 8:30. It was just enough time to uh, to, to, to uh, allow the the mice to, to play uh, when the cat was away. Uh, so it wasn't clearly defined that day who was in charge, and, and uh, they knew what the job that had to be done. And Dave, who, who does have, uh, well, he's been with us for, for a lot longer, and he's also got a ton of sewer experience. 
and uh, and Ishmael really doesn't have uh, that, that, that much. I mean, what the hell you doing? I, I already told you that before. I ain't here to hear you. Uh -huh. What's I'm here to do what I gotta do. That's it. You got something to say? Say it to me. I'm don't say it to you. nobody else. I'm telling you. How's that? Man. Okay. Just work that. I let you know. Just I don't work. want you to work in binding. Oh, Not right. that. Too bad. Too okay. bad. Own that. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I'm not proud of that. Uh, watching that, but but certainly, um, without clear and, and concise direction, uh, things can go south pretty quickly on a job site because everybody's trying to work hard and, and got the right intentions, but. People's egos don't always uh, get correctly uh, categorized, or, or, or they don't know what to do with their egos. And, and if they're not given the exact direction, they're gonna. Uh, well, that's what happens. Incidents where people don't follow instructions and not listening to actually. I'll tell you one thing. I've just I haven't just started, but if you're gonna just start and try and tell me how to actually do the job and you don't know what you're doing and mm -hmm. you just come into this company not even having a year experience I'm gonna tell you how it is you're not gonna follow instructions follow um, orders or follow um, commands because I've been through where I've been yelled at cursed at and I had to keep my mouth quiet and keep on going what I doing do the job how's that do the job you do it I ain't the boss so why don't you Okay, you're saying you don't want to work because I'm down here. How the fuck you figure? I didn't tell you I didn't want to work. You said you don't want to work and buy you. Relax. He tried to be actually more in power where he thinks he knew what he was doing just because he was working a week or two here. But it was not like that. He, I, don't know, I take his opinion and everything, but the way he was trying to work, he wasn't following orders. Mm -hmm. I tell him, I want you outside working. That's where I want you outside working. Don't ask me why I want you outside. If I want you outside, it's for a reason because I know that you're better outside than being inside. Mm. You're just gonna hold me back if you're inside working with me because I'm not comfortable with you inside. Why not? Relax Why your not? tone. Let's go outside. Hey, Oh, you said you don't want to work by me. I said Why not? I want to do Why outside not? better, all right? Not That's all me. I just wanted to do. Just work. Okay. Just work. That's all That's it all is. That's all I told you. Just Better work. This. You, I'm not the boss. You're the boss. You do the job, boss. boss. Alright, whatever. Talking that shit. Just do work, man. Every day you got to come with Please, get rid of it. I hate working with that fucking man. He thinks he calls you and rocks you. Little ass do I knock his ass out. I'm just wait. Don't worry here just to get your stuff done, you know? Sorry. Like if Rob, Rob's gonna come to a job, I'm gonna tell him, I don't feel comfortable with you inside. You gotta be outside, get out of my way. You're just in my way. Right. That's how I look at it. If you're in my way, I'm going to tell you how it is. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I don't have no hair on my tongue. I'm going to tell you how it is. Because this is my field and this is my, my, I love doing this work. At our local hangout, John and Lucas are cameraing the main sewer. When cameraing a sewer for one of our customers, yeah, right here it looks like we like to map it out above like ground, this. just in case any repairs need to be made in the future. John pushes the locator beacon through the sewer as Luke uses the locator wand yeah. to detect the signal and spray paint a mark on the basement floor. So we 
just camera it, made sure everything was looking good. There was a few little spots, but other than that, it looked pretty good. It doesn't need to be dug up right now. Upstairs, a toilet in the men's washroom is leaking to the basement below. With constant use, toilets in restaurants and bars often loosen up over time. A quick reset and caulking is all that's needed. In this, this closet bolt is uh, it's broken. The flames might be broken, I'm not sure yet. I gotta take it out. Look at it. Diesel began the repair of the toilet and Luke stepped in to reset it. Which brings to mind the question, how many Polish plumbers does it take to reset a toilet? In this case, just one. Diesel's not Polish, and Lucas can handle just about any task solo. Back at Rhonda's place. With the excavation of the floor finished, Ed and Lucas can get in and install Rhonda's new flood control system. <coughs> Plumbers often work in conjunction with several trades. But sometimes they have to make small corrections or repairs when other tradespeople aren't around. Here we see Ed tutoring Jermaine on the best and proper way to make a concrete floor. Not as good as a mason, down, but sufficient for a rough basement it. floor. Another job well done by Rob Watts Plum. In next week's episode, Chris, Jermaine, and John make a sewer repair at Salem Christian School. <laughs> you got the jewel back? What? Oh. What is it? Joe's you. Um, that's the clean up there. It shows you the one that's in the corner. <laughs> And in Oak Park, Dave is wrangling with a live water line.